All right, I'm looking at another Warmel today. Now, I did one of these for the first time just a few days ago, and it's kind of interesting. So the way this works is the coloring is telling you how close the letter is to the correct letter. So it's yellow if it's within three letters on either side. So for the E to be yellow, it would have to be a B, C, D, or an F, G, H. And if it's gray, it means it's not within those three, and that's about it. Now, what's, one of the interesting things about Warmel is that it doesn't start with an actual word. It's one of the few games like this that doesn't start with a real word. Not that it really matters. I just find that interesting. So, all right, so we need to, I mean, we can do a lot of things here. It needs to not be, um, you know, close to an E. I mean, we could put something like an S, something, you know, just kind of at the opposite end of the alphabet. And then I think we, we could do, uh, I mean, we could do S, T, A, R, E. Why not? Stare. Okay. Ooh, ooh, okay, that was really good. All right, so we got the S, the T. Now, the T and the N, which means it can't be within three of either one of those letters, which is kind of interesting, because the N would exclude O, P, and Q. The T would exclude S, R, and Q. So maybe T wasn't great because it does overlap a little bit, so it doesn't eliminate as much, but that's okay. But we can essentially eliminate from K to W. So that's quite a big elimination. So S, C, maybe? S, C, A? Uh, this could be an M. Scamp would work. Try Scamp. Ooh, okay, so the M, it is a C, so S-C-A, the M means it is within three. So L-K-J or N-O-P, but it can't be P because of the R. Actually, it can't be O or P because of the R. So it's an N or L-K-N-L, uh, L maybe? And then skull, but it can't be a D because of the E. Hmm, so maybe not L. We could do an N. Yeah, scant, scant, because the P eliminates the Q, R, and S, but it could still be a T. Let's go with scant. Scant, that was the answer. All right, cool, very good. So I feel like I got really lucky with stare by getting two greens, but I was basically just thinking, well, it can't be at the beginning of the alphabet, let's do something later on, and this one can't be later on, let's do something at the beginning, and it just worked out, so. Anyways, there you go. That was today's Warmel. Now, there is a Super Warmel, um, and I think there's actually a Super Warmel Plus, and I didn't even realize that last time. I had lots of comments that said, why didn't you do the Super Warmel Plus? Well, I didn't even see it. So, <laughs> Super Warmel, we're gonna go on the Super Warmel. Now, this way Super Warmel works is it's only yellow if you're within two letters instead of three. So let's try the Super Warmel. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of go with the same strategy, I think. I don't really know what the best way is, so let's go something early on in the alphabet. Maybe like, uh, uh, what about C-O, and then uh, C-O-A? Uh, we can't do an S with the U. I was gonna say coast, but we could do R. Cool, no, um, okay, maybe Maybe we do, ooh, coin, coins, we could do coins. Okay, so, hmm, okay, so we, we eliminated kind of towards the end and the beginning here. I mean, it could be way at the end. Actually, and, and it, it, we've only eliminated, remember it's within two, so we did eliminate A, B, C, D, and E. But it's just R, S, U, V. So you could have a W, X, Y, Z, but those aren't, uh, W isn't terrible. You could do a W, just a, but that's not eliminating good letters. So it'd be better to do something in the middle that's gonna eliminate, cause, cause the W isn't a bad letter, but if it's not W and it's gray, it's just eliminating the X, Y, and Z, and that's not, you know, we probably don't have an X, Y, or Z anyways, so. Y maybe, but at any rate. <laughs> uh, let's go somewhere in the middle, so maybe like an M. It could be a vowel too. We could throw a vowel in there. Have to be an I or an O. Let's go with an M. Let's try M. M A. I was gonna say magic, but we can't put a G there with the I, because that eliminated the H and the I. So we've eliminated G H I J K L M N and O. 
So... So we could do something like an R or an S, maybe. M-A-R... How about... Mm, I was gonna say March. But we know this one is... Q, R, T, or U. Now Q is not gonna be at the end of the word, so it's an R, a T, or a U. That's an R. Uh, oh, we can't do major, because we can't do a J or an O, because of the I and the N. Mayor? No, we can't do an O. If this was an E, E-R wouldn't be bad. Maker? No, we can't do a K, because of the I. What if we did a C there, and then we put a P here? Pacer. That would be pretty good. Let's go with Pacer. Okay. Okay. So, oh, this is interesting. So, we know from the S that it was either Q, R, T, or U. Now, because of the R being yellow, it's either Q or T, and I don't think it's going to be Q, so I'm pretty sure that's going to be a T. This one is A, B, D, or E. Any of those are possible. Now, over here, the P means it's either N, O, Q, or R. But if it was R, the T would have been yellow. So it's N, O, or Q. Again, Q isn't great, but at the beginning we could do a Q, U. We could do, oh, we can't do quiet. Uh, this is A, B, um, D or E. If it was Q, U, it would almost have to be an A or an E. Quest? Quest is good, let's go with Quest. It's not Quest. Okay, but it's within two of P and within two of Q which means it's either R or O. So that wasn't great. I shouldn't have done a Q. Uh, it's either R or O, let's go with R. Uh, and this one, okay, it's not within, so it's not a D. So it's an A or a B, because if, if it was a D, the E would be yellow. So it's an A or a B. Uh, can't be robot, because we can't put an O there or here. Ooh, so if, okay, so, right, so I think, if this is an R, I think it's gotta be a vowel following. So it would have to be I. Mm, no, I don't like that as much. So, maybe this is an O, and then this could be either an A or a B. This, this is, could be a lot of things still. It could be an R. Uh, orbit, orbit, orbit. Can it be an I? Yeah, orbit, let's go with orbit. All right, it was orbit, cool. Okay, so that was a super warmal. Now, there's a super warmal plus. I can't forget to do this one this time. Now, the way super warmal plus works is you only get a yellow if you're within one letter. So this should be difficult. All right, and we got all grays, perfect. All right, so I'm gonna kinda go with the same theory of kind of the opposite end of the alphabet. I don't know whether it's better to go with something close to eliminate a big chunk or to go early and late. I, I mean, I I feel like there's more good letters earlier in the alphabet than later in the alphabet. So, I don't know. But really, this is only eliminate. I mean, the U only eliminates the T and the V. The K only eliminates the J and the L. So, I mean, you've got a lot of possibilities still. So, all right. Um... Actually, we've got a lot of possibilities still. Let's go with still. Okay. That's not good. We still have a lot of possibilities. All right. Um, let's go back to my plan of using the opposite in the alphabet. That was not the opposite in the alphabet. Uh, D, E, I'm just making stuff up here. D, E, what do we want to do? I don't know. Do magic. Why not? Magic. No. Still no magic in this puzzle. Okay. This is tough. I don't know what the, the right strategy is here. Um, okay. So I do know uh, that I'm not using good strategy. I know that much. For example, the I already ruled out the H. And so G was not great because it's only ruling out the F and the G then. We want to use letters that would rule out three possibilities if they're gray. So that wasn't great. Um, I think other than that, uh, and see the same thing here, the T was already ruled out by the U, so guessing S only would let us rule out two letters. So yeah, not using great strategy, but that's okay. I'm having fun anyways. Um, 
So basically we want to use letters that are more than two away from the ones that are already gray. So what about D E dense? No, the E is, is only two away from the C. We could do delay maybe? No, the A is only two away from the C. Can't do decoy because the C is too close to the D. In fact, we know it's not a C because it's next to the D. Demon. We could do demon. That's not bad. No, nope, N is only two away from the L. We could do something like detox, but the X is only going to eliminate W, X, and Y. Although Y at the end is common, but. All right, let's just go for it. Why not? Okay. I mean, you'd think just blindly throwing darts at the alphabet, you would get close to something at some point. All right, so let's see. We could use an H, O. Um, I like S, T at the end. We can't do hoist. This one could also be an O, something like roost or boost, but... R is next to S, and the B is too close to the D. G, oh, what about Ghost? Ghost would be pretty good, let's do Ghost. Okay, okay, okay. We've got one more guess, we can do this, we can do this. We've got the G, we've got the T. Uh, I mean, we've eliminated so many options now. Okay, so G, it's not an H, um, it could be like an R. This one would have to be a vowel then, which would have to be an A. And then what would this be? Can't be an N. Ooh, could be graft. That's a tough word. It would work. Um, otherwise, if this isn't an R, I think it's gotta be a vowel, which would have to be an O. And then, oh, I don't know, what are you gonna do there and here? So, if this isn't an F, it's probably a vowel. It could be A-T, or E-T, but G-O. And if this is an R, you can't do like, great, because this one can only be an A. I think Graft is pretty good. You know, it's a good guess. Even if it's wrong, um, it's it's interesting. I definitely learned, you know, at first I was just sort of guessing things without thinking too much about the strategy, and I definitely made some bad moves in there. Um, let me try Graft. Oh, it's Graft. <laughs> I can't believe that. Wow. All right, so... A little bit of magic in the middle got us the answer, barely. Oh, wow. That was really grasping at straws at the end there. But, pretty cool. So there's not like a extra super warm old double plus or anything, I don't think. Okay, so this is the end of the chain, I believe. So I don't want to miss another one, but... Wow. That's really tough. So I feel like the warm old, uh, so far in my, exp I mean, my two puzzles that I've done, wasn't too difficult, but this super warm old plus is tough because... I mean, to get that many grays, ah, uh, yeah. Anyways, so let me know if you like to play Warmel, how you uh, usually do with the Super Warmel, the Super Warmel Plus, and uh, if it is indeed a lot harder as you go along. It seems like it's a lot harder, and it makes sense that it would be, but. Anyways, and how you did with today's Warmel, and be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. Oh, it could be, we could still have an S there. This could be artsy. <laughs> We're putting a lot of R's in the grid. So there. And there, there we go. <laughs> All right, that was an easy one. Decided, maybe. <laughs> so, so doing eight words blindfolded isn't hard enough. We could do spool or after, or spoof and alter, either way. Oh, we could do whiz. There we go, okay. Whew.